In February 2019, I began this series on Ashes Cricket 2009. We played the first test match, but never ever continued it. Well, hello and welcome to the continuation of Ashes Cricket 2009, uh, a replay of the, or revisiting the 2009 Ashes series, of course. I'm Joe, if you're new around here, make sure you click that subscribe button for uh, regular cricket content. I've also got a Cricket Captain 2020 um, series going out at the moment. Lots of cricket on this channel. It's one of the staples um, of the, the daily sports and retro gaming that we do around here. Make sure you get involved down in the comments, hit the like button, all of that good stuff. Help out that algorithm. I really would appreciate it. Um, it was actually crazy. We, we got a comment from the original game designer, uh, one of the programmers, um, in the in the comments of the the first video two years ago but uh, looking forward to getting back into it um we're gonna pick it up from the second test so one nil down we did uh have a, a fairly decent test match against australia last time it was uh, the collapse in the the the, the first innings that that cost us uh kevin peterson had a terrific match in 97 and 110 from him philip hughes uh, may he rest in peace uh, got 156 for the Aussies in the first innings. So, uh, looking forward to it. Let's uh, let's head into what we want to achieve here. Let's just have a check of the um, squad. So, of course, we're going to have Andrew Strauss and uh, Alistair Cook opening up. Uh, Ian Bell is going to be batting at three with KP at four. Paul Collingwood is going to be at five. Flint off six. Prior currently at seven. Graham Swan at eight. He's a staple. Broad and Anderson, of course. Monty Panasar is the one that I'm considering dropping for this test match. Um, he obviously played in the Cardiff test in real life back in the day. Uh, but who do we want in there? I mean, we can have Steve Davis in there. Uh, Six-time world champion. Tim Ambrose. <laughs> Samit uh, Patel. Ryan Sidebottom, of course, is a fabulous player. Um, I'm really tempted to get Michael Vaughan in there though a former England captain of course uh, Steve Harmison maybe what would Steve Harmison add to this certainly wouldn't add any batting but uh, you know he's a terrific bowler go on we'll have Stevie Harmison back in, in the squad and it'll be like old days uh, so there's your squad Happy with that. Next match. Uh, of course we are going to be England. And uh, yeah, looking forward to this. Hopefully you guys are too. As I say, smash the like button. Uh, get Welcome involved in the North. comments. This All of that good stuff. beautiful 29,000 seat cricket ground in North London. What promises to be an intriguing second test of this Ashes series. We have a lovely clear sky here today. And it should make for a perfect day out for the crowd. Joining me in the commentary box for this match is Tony Gregg. And you were out there earlier on. Uh, Greggy, how does the pitch look? Well, thanks, Jonathan. This is a pretty good pitch. There won't be any great movement for the seam bowlers, but there might be just enough if they can bowl in the right place. There could be some spin from the start, but certainly later on the ball will begin to turn more. For the batsmen, if they play sensibly, there are some big scores to be had out there. This is definitely a good toss to lose. Okay, so I think uh, we'll go with tails. The captains are about to make the crucial toss, so let's get down there and see who wins. And while we uh, are going to, of course, bat first, they've won on the, the toss. And it looks like they'll be batting. Well, that's not what I would have chosen to do. All right, Jonathan. Well, you're not the one in the middle, are you? <laughs> Tony Gregg as well. Rest in peace. Some, you know. Names in here that, that are no longer with us. Many empty seats uh, the ground, so we must already be close to a full house. The opening bowlers are the key. If they can keep it tight and pick up a couple of early wickets, then they might be in with the chance. The quick bowler to I start mean, I the first can't game. remember what the uh, uh, the controls are handily there for us. Um, and we defend, of course, the opening Not ball. ball. But uh, it's crazy to think that this game is 12 year old now. I had this on the uh, on the Wii as well. Wrong direction. Uh, 
And yeah, it's fair to say that that version of the game, not quite as good. There's been a move away from using specialist wicket keepers, and more emphasis placed on selecting batsmen who can keep as well. Do you think it's just a phase, or has the specialist glove man gone for good? There's always been debate about wicket keepers and who in fact should be selected in the top teams. I was lucky. Um, the England selectors picked Alan Knott, who turned out, as far as I'm concerned, to be one of the best wicket keepers ever. He also was very, very good with the bat and worked very hard at that. And that, I think, is what's more important than anything. There is no wicket keeper that uh, should let rest on his laurels uh, and allow or accept that his batting is going to be secondary. Um, his batting should be every bit as important to him in the modern game as his keeping. And I think that philosophy does apply these days, not only to wee keepers, it applies to fast bowlers and spinners as well. Everyone is trying to bat well. And they all know, and that's the wee keepers I'm talking about, that unless they can bat, their chances of maintaining the top spot aren't quite as good. There might be trouble here. I always like to, to let the commentators sort of have these discussions. So we might hear some repetition and whatever throughout the series, but... Uh, no ball. Yeah, I need to remember the controls. That was, uh... <laughs> I was. I've been pressing square for running. But uh, trying to get to remember the the timing is uh, it's going to be a key part of this series, I think. Batsmen are looking for two. That's okay. Two runs. Two more runs added. No ball. He's having some problems with his run up out there. It's a second no ball of the over. But yeah, I think the cricket games really do miss the uh, the sort of interaction between the, the commentators. That's a terrific covers. cover drive. That should go for four, but it's slowing up. The batsmen are coming back for a second. Coming back for a third now. Good running. So in the outfield not looking great out there. Yeah, that's a lovely hook. And then not... Not managing to trouble the boundary. That's beautiful. Oh, play. that's better. Right that's going to be poor. That's better. And Peter Siddle balling in that area. Beautiful We're just going to punish that. Just in the right place, and away it went for four. The crowd but, uh, I am shot. playing this on the, the PS3, uh, upscaled to 4K, so hopefully you guys enjoy that. I think this game still looks great. I, I think, in truth, it's probably the best looking cricket game we've ever had. So, that's plenty off that over. 16, I think. It was a maiden the first over, wasn't it? But that's what you get for just bowling short all the time. One more onto the team total. Another over gone. And 16 off that over, goodness me. And I know plenty of people will, will have a go at... Uh, a fast bowler to start a new over. Playing like a T20, uh, but, you know, do you really want to watch half an hour to an hour of somebody uh, blocking it, and and then you you can have the argument. Ah, well, show the, just show the highlights. But then all that be shown is the, uh, is the fours and sixes. So you know, it's a it's a video game, and I'm going to play it that way. I'm not another run onto the scoreboard. I'm not gonna, you know, block every delivery. If the ball's there to be hit, we'll hit it. And, You know, that's, that's what you can come to expect from, from this channel. That's over the infield. There's a little that's bit of risk in that. That's when coming back for two. 
Two runs. Not a bad opening partnership, really. Ooh, edged. Ooh, that was edged. Johnson three ball conceded from much the over. over. The seamer to start a new over then. That's through the gap. Get two here, maybe even Batsman three. Looking for two. Just the two. That's two more. And of course, this is. Uh, Made by Codemasters, who also made the Brian Lara International Cricket se uh, Series. Mm. You can sort of tell um, that th this is sort of got the the Brian Lara elements. Certainly, the control system, the the almost blocky nature of the animations, but. Uh, Certainly, immersion-wise, I feel like they, they hit the nail on the head um, with this. And... He's got the edge. You know, I, although I think Cricket 07 is, is the, the goat of cricket games in terms of animations and realism, if you like. Um, I think this one nailed the look and feel of cricket a bit better. The bats when I came back for a second. Again, good running. So we'll probably play the first five to ten overs. Do a little bit of auto play. I think you can simulate sort of overs. Oh, edged to slip. Edged again. Up there. I haven't got the field set no for it. There. That's five off the over. The cookie to start a new over. One more to sundries. Yeah, that's a lovely shot. Should be able to come back for at least two here. Looking for two. There it is. Good running. I'm looking at the cracks That's development in this pitch. Title. I'm thinking if we get to day four or day five, Graham Swan is going to be absolutely tearing it apart. Wow. That really was very wide. Again, lovely cover drive. Don't think it's going to quite reach the boundary. I think it is the, coming back the longer boundary this one. They're in disarray. No ball. He's having some problems with his run up out there. And plenty of no balls from the Aussies. Ooh. He's got the edge. Oh, that must have hurt. Well, this is excellent bowling. The batsman does not fancy it at all. Lovely shot. Once again, if you pitch up... The batsmen are looking for two. We're going to hit it. If you ball short, we're going to hit it. A good length on the stumps and I'll defend That's it. That's two more. <laughs> oh, he's uh, coming over the wicket. Oh, sorry, around the wicket because he's a left arm at. Just a little bit wide that one. You do wish they could run a little bit quicker. Wrong foot 
work there, but there you go, you can see um, he was Mitchell Johnson all not by that hitting one. the stumps. Very expensive over indeed. No, not a bad start. Fast Peter Siddle, start a new over. Once again. Slightly in the air, but coming back for That's two. Good runs here. Ooh, direct hit. Might have got him there. Again, slightly in the air, but getting enough meat on it. Again, close. Managed to get there. Exquisite That's high shot. in the air. That's surely going to be four, though. Yeah. You just can't fault the placement there. Four runs. A beautifully oh, timed shot go for, for four. That sort of shot there. Just too short. And they just hook it away. Four runs. From the future England captain. shot there but they're just not changing the field to adapt to this back. what a mix up there's bound to be trouble here that's one more under his total there you go ball on the stumps and I'll defend it's a little bit wide that one Steered through the gap beautifully. The batsmen are coming back for a second. Two. 46 without loss. Two more runs added. His captain won't be too happy with that. A cookie to start a new over. Back to over the wicket for Mitchell Johnson then. Is there a control options? No, I'm. I'm trying to work out whether R2 is sprint or not on this game. Edged. It might be. The batsman picks up one more. I have got the manual. I just can't be bothered to go and have a look at it. We'll, we'll learn by experiment. Ninety-six mile an hour, goodness me! I don't know if um, the Aussies made any changes. Well, he's mistimed that. It's run away off the edge. Batsmen are looking for oh, two. Just about made it. Fifties up. So an excellent start here. No ball. Gampar signalling a no ball. Ah! Oh, he's out. Oh, he's out. He just didn't come one. back quick enough. Come. There was never a run there. I can't believe they even tried for it. And from another angle? Yeah. I, I sent him back straight away, and you'll see when I... Well, you can't see the other side, but he just kept running. <laughs> Ian Bell comes to the crease now. Real concentration required. And I think we'll try and simulate. Yeah, there we go. So we can simulate. Five runs from the over. Overs. Well, it does take a little little while. I wish you could simulate that. five overs or whatever. Um, we're not scoring any, unfortunately. Whoops. Only one off the over. Well off the mark now. Um. Three off that over. Yeah, I'll simulate up to fifteen and Six then we'll, runs from that we'll over. Back. 
Whoops. It's not that that hard, but uh, yeah, it's a little bit frustrating that you can't. Um. You know, runs can simulate a certain over. amount of overs, but uh, there you go, 75 for one. Uh, after 15. I'm going at five and over at the moment. I don't no know where Strauss is up to. 31 now. Which is pretty good. That's when I came back, back for, for a two. second. Big appeal. I think we're okay. Well, he's, he's scored a the third of I don't the think that, that's necessary. Let's take another look at that in replay. Let's have a look at this. I mean, we couldn't see from that angle. No tough there you go, the look at that! We get to see How did he do that? Motion, <laughs> or with Hawkeye, over and over. But in the middle, they only get one shot at it at How did he do it? Make that decision himself. That's bizarre. He's literally looking at it. He wasn't paying There's attention. He's safe. Yeah, that's him shaking his head and being ashamed of that. He's not saying not out. He's a, he's ashamed that he made that decision. Well, that's a cracking shot. Nah, that's a nice Beautiful shot. Time. Don't need to run for that, do we? Don't need to run for that. That's four runs. He plays that shot really well and it brings him a lot of runs. Have a look at he this. couldn't resist the hook shot, but it came off. Brett Lee. And Andrew Strauss heading towards his 50. Not there yet, though. But again, the ball short. We're going to whack you away. That's when they're looking for two. Good runner. That's nicely played. There's another one. Swatted away for four. And a cracking shot that one. He looks in fantastic form. He hit that with great power. And the end of the over. Go 87 for one. Andrew Strauss 43 from 56. Ian Bell. The cookie to start a new 11. over. Nice little square drive, it may well go for four. No, manages to cut it off. Andrew Strauss looking tired between the wickets. Three runs for the batsman. Oh, it's just a lovely hoop shot there. Coming back for two. Good running. Oh, 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 oh. Wow. I mean, he absolutely Let's have a look at that nailed again. that. Did he drop it? No, I don't think Got it ball. carried. That one was in the air though, but through the gap. And it's not going to reach. That's when looking for two. It's okay. So Andrew Strauss on 48. The captain looking good. To get a 50. 
How important is concentration for a batsman? Concentration is vital to a batsman. As soon as you start to lose it during an innings, then you'll get yourself into trouble and probably get yourself out. <laughs> They're like on an awkward date, aren't they? <laughs> batsmen are coming back for two. Both for four. Not quite coming back for three again, though. And the hundreds up, a hundred for one. That was good running by the batsman. After 17. Very expensive over. The seamer to start a new over then. Oh, just the one there. Can Andrew Strauss get himself to 50? Tremendous shot. Yes, he can. What a shot that is. Four runs for the captain. Oh, it's 50. He's batted well, but needs to keep his head down and take full advantage. He looks very pleased. Let's have a look at the action replay. <laughs> he does look very pleased. Look at that beautiful off drive. Four runs. Nice little in and so far, definitely. What a superb shot. Again, just absolutely beautifully timed on the pads there. Wonderful Four shot. runs. He really punished the bowler there. Andrew Super Strauss looking there. really he fantastic at the moment. Oh, well, that's a cracking well, shot. Again, you are just. Asking for trouble. That is a shot right out of the coaching manual. Everything was in the right place there. It fairly raced to the boundary. Yeah. No stopping that and into the 60s now. Nice cover drive. That's when he's coming back for a second. Going to come back for a third. Good running. One sixteen for one. These two are building a solid partnership. A fast bowler to start a new Back over. into the attack. Edged. Two edges from Andrew Strauss, this one. Batsmen are looking for two. Andrew, but, uh, oh goodness me, that was a wayward throw, wasn't it? Look Three more under the scoreboard. There, there. To get it for the Aussies. Another edge. What's up with him? <laughs> he's he's checking that Mitchell Johnson isn't uh, sneaking up behind him. That's better. No, nope, he's walking again. <laughs> oh dear. Oh. That wasn't far away from the edge of the bat. I mean, it wasn't far away from off stump. It was just a dreadful. He's mistimed mess. that, it's run away off the edge. Just about got back in time. 
Yeah, good over from Three Mitchell Johnson. That. 119 for one. Shane Watson, eh? Goodness me. Some classic names in here. Bats when are coming back for two. Good strike rate. Yeah, that's a beautiful shot from Ian Bell, but then going to be stopped out there on the boundary. Assuming that didn't carry. Another single for the batsman. Being close though. Yeah, Strauss weary now. Could do with uh, lunch coming sooner rather than later. Bat. The problem is he's abs absolutely nailing the uh, the ball, so it's getting to the field is much quicker than it was. He's having some problems with his run-up out there. Well, after this 20th over, we'll uh, have a little simulate. The bats want to come back two. for a second. So 129 for That's one. That's two more runs on the board. The cookie. All right. So I'll do 10 overs here. Five runs from that over. Oops. That's seven off the over then. Well, stop it there. Two overs just before lunch. Marcus North coming in. So, Tony, what do you think of North London as a cricket ground? In the north of London, of course, uh, the home of cricket, and uh, what can one say? This uh, is the place that I, as a young boy, came, and the only thing I could think about was getting a little bit of the grass and putting it in an envelope and sending it back to my mum and dad at home just to say that I'd been here. Uh, I, uh, I love what they've done with this ground. I, I love the modern, um, the, the modern architecture that they've used uh, as far as the new media centre is concerned, and then, of course, there's all the history that goes with this ground a wonderful atmosphere and a great feeling to walk down from the dressing room through that long room with all the old MCC members wearing their MCC ties, their MCC undercoats, their MCC socks and braces, you name it. It's, uh, it really is quite a, an interesting environment and of course uh, the home of cricket. I just love those conversations. They, they, they never grow old for me. You know, I, I always find it fascinating listening. And, and I, I, I just love the idea that in the recording booth they went a little off script with it. And, you know, it sounds genuine. Um, which is great. I just wish more games would do that. I know uh, FIFA did it for a while. With uh, Alan Smith and Bats when are coming back Mark, for two. Martin Tyler. But uh, there Another we go. Over gone. Last over before lunch. The fast bowler to, to start a new over. That's going to get us to lunch. Yes. 
Good start for Andrew Strauss. He's two away from his sentry. Two picked up there. And a terrific opening morning of this test match. And this should be his sentry. Can we get back for the second in time? Thanks, yes, we two. can. It's a sentry for Andrew Strauss. A captain's knock. And a brilliant start well to this test match. The applause. That brings up his sentry. And a big middle finger to Jonathan Agnew, who uh, said, oh, I uh, wouldn't have chose that when, he bat it, when Andrew Strauss chose Top to bat shot. on the first morning of this test. Oh, what can I say? He looks in top form today. That was superb placement. That shot brought the crowd to their feet. So 182 for one here. That's when I'm coming back for a second. This could be a crucial partnership for this team. You think? And what's great is we've still got KP, still got Flint, I've still got Collinwood, Matt Pryor. In Stuart Broad back then, Graham Swan, all can bat. So this is really a terrific start and, and exactly what we needed after losing the Great first test. That play. is just a superb shot to take us to lunch with. Oh, super and shot. There that it is. Four runs as soon as he hit it. That is a textbook shot. Splendid stroke. Very expensive over indeed. And there they come, off for lunch. So, at the lunch break, it's 190 for one. Very, very happy with that. And, uh, well, I think the first ten overs after lunch and will uh, simulate and see where we're getting to. I don't want this video to go on forever and ever. So, um, we'll see how we're getting on after ten overs. And then probably play up until... About 50 overs That's in. six and, runs from the over. Um, Two sixteen for one as it stands. Ian Bell doing very nicely as well. Two runs from the so over. To 37 overs. So another three simulated. And we'll see what the match situation is after that. Oops. Four runs off the over. So there we go player. then. Two, three, six for one after 40 overs. Andrew Strauss on 131 runs off 130 deliveries. Uh, Ian Bell on 68 from 97. This is a, a wonderful partnership, actually. Um, looking at. I'm trying to work out the. Uh, ball and scorecard. That's the one you. Yeah. It's uh, about 140. 50, nearly 200 runs this partnership now, which is awesome. There we go. Good shot there. And bell. One more onto the team total. So it is going to be stopped. Bats when are coming back for two. Should be able to come back for two. Yeah, I am conscious that he is pretty tired out there, Andrew Strauss, so. 
we don't want to run them too ragged. He's but, scoring at a uh, prolific rate at the moment. This is still awesome. Oh, that's a crap. There you go. Shot. That's the one. That's four runs. That was superb placement. On a pitch like this, I feel for the bowlers. There really is no margin for error. Swept away. Four runs again. That's raced away to the boundary. Oh, super shot. That was four runs as soon as he hit it. A beautifully timed Let's shot for four. Look at this. Yeah, beautiful sweep shot. Oh, great and shot. And again, four runs for Andrew Strauss. The 250's up and the 200 the partnership four between these that two. That was a really classy shot. What an over. Disastrous. Michael Clark at the other end as well. That's a strange one. Michael Clark's a, a left a left arm bowler for a right handed batsman. Not many of them I feel. He's having some problems with his run up out there. For two, it's looking for risky. Two. They are targeting the the stumps that Andrew Strauss is running to. Beautiful there we go. Timing. We've gone for it over the top. Four runs. His timing's perfect today. Oh, super shot again. He's got into a perfect position for that shot. Head over the ball. Wait forward. Yeah, there's lots of right-handed uh, batsmen. Uh, sorry, right-handed bowlers that bat left-handed. So I've never seen it the other way around. There are people that could be out. And from another angle. Well, that would be very frustrating. Yeah, I think that's out. Oh no, they've given it not out well. I thought that was definitely out. One more to sundries. I think that was caught as well. Top bowling. Struggling a little bit with this all bit. Possibly just expecting a little bit too much spin from a part time. Ten from the over, very expensive, and the bowler put under oh, real that. pressure there. Now then, can Andrew Strauss get to 150? No. Oh, if that hit the stumps, that was out. Great fielding. He's got the edge. Oh, it's a lovely shot. And that's going to be four runs for Andrew Strauss. And that's his 150. And another four. Wonderful shot. He really punished the bowler there. He looks very pleased. It's been exciting watching him bat out there today. Let's have a look at that from another angle. Brilliant stuff from Andrew Strauss. That's another great shot down towards third man. Is it going to reach the boundary? For a second. 
don't think so, but we are going to come back for three. Really quick scoring here. Oh, he's dropped it's it. It's gone down. Well, that was in the air. That was in the air. That was a chance to That's reclaim a of luck for the, the momentum it's a, a well little bit. Fact that catches win matches. Well, we'll simulate another five overs and then uh, play the final two of the day. Or of, of the episode, I should say. Another over gone. So there you go then. 285 for one after 48 overs. So two more overs to play in this episode. Let's see what we can do. That's a lovely shot from Ian Bell. Is it going to reach the boundary? That's coming back for two. Don't think it is. Good running. Into the 80s now. Ian Bell. Another good shot from Andrew Strauss. Not a very good throw though from the outfield. Oof, that was in the air, that could have been caught. But again, Bats are looking for two. Not a great field from Ricky Ponton at the end of the day. running again what's the key to bowling with the new ball Tony the key to bowling with the new ball is movement there's no doubt about that if you bowl a good length of line and you have some movement then you're always going to cause problems for the batsman or runs the great bowlers um, both of yesteryear and the modern fast bowlers um, when using the new ball get it to swing so swing in the air is one way to move the ball and of course the other way with a new hard seam uh, you can move it off the seam as well if you happen to be able to do both well that's a bonus so for me length and line and swing and seam is uh, the way to go but you can only do that if you keep the seam upright and so that's the challenge oh this is going to be out this is going to be out oh no it's dropped no, wow well, that's two drops now from the Aussies 300 up by the way must have taken his eye one more over moment. to go an expensive over for Australia that one we need to be careful here because Michael Clark was causing problems it's okay I thought that was going to be a run out No ball, ball. Good shot from Andrew Strauss, and it's a no ball as well. Coming That's back for coming two. Back for two. Gonna come back for three. This is risky. Oh, Big shout. We're okay. Not out. Oof. Don't know what happened to me being careful. <laughs> I'm surely gonna be four. Certainly running close. There it goes, That's just right about hit the, the, route, the boundary. He plays that shot really well and it brings him a lot of runs. Again, it's running down. Is it going to reach the boundary? It's certainly two. close again. Going to come back for three. Good running. Three more for the batsman. Oh, 
Well, that's wonderfully timed. There's four for Andrew Strauss. Don't ball late. Michael that is Clark. A shot right out of the coaching manual. He placed that superbly. Fine piece of fielding. Well, there we have it then. That's going to be Incredible. the end of today's episode uh, and this first one back. 322 for one. That's not a bad uh, start to the series or the recommencing of the series. Uh, so, thank you very much for watching this video. If you have enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up down below. It would be fantastic if we could hit 100 likes for the return of Ashes Cricket 2009. I really would appreciate it. Get involved down in the comment section as well. What are your memories of this game? Uh, I will put a link to the original playlist as well uh, if you want to check out the five episodes that I did two years ago. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you're having a wonderful day and I'll see you on the next video. Goodbye.